Uh, no, no, and, no. See, see, you're changing. You, what I need you to do is I need you to show me how Jesus of Nazareth, who you're quoting from in Mark, is the same person as the Isa Ibn Miriam of your Quran. Right, and I'm showing you. Huh? I'm showing you. I'm, I'm showing you by him, by Christ saying that I've not come to do the will of myself, but the will of the one who sent me. So he is not. Uh, he is not uh, claiming any kind of divinity. He's saying he was sent by God we're as not, the we're Quran not, says. We're not, talk, we're not talking about his divinity. We're talking about his identity. Right, I'm, that's what I'm saying. He was born of a virgin, right? Okay, who, who was the virgin he was born to? Mary Ann, Mary. Okay, and she was a, and she, she was a descendant of who? Uh, uh, he comes from the lineage of uh, Isaac or uh, David. Probably. Right. But the right. Quran says that she's a descendant of Amram, who's a Levite. Imram, Im, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. Imram uh, is the um, make sure it's right on what I'm saying. Yeah, go ahead, take your time. When we say uh, Imram, I mean, go ahead. I had just went over that. Uh, yeah, Imram is the too. father of Moses and Aaron and Miriam, their sister. All right. Well. Right, so so Jesus, what you claim Jesus is, will go against who Jesus says he is. What we say Jesus is, will align with Jesus claimed to be in your scripture. So we say he's a prophet. Does the scripture confirm that? Where does Jesus say he's a prophet? It is not in your scripture that he okay. was referred to as a prophet. Okay. But you keep let's let's go back to Imran because you you mentioned Mary. So here's the thing that I want to set the stage for. Number one, from 320 BC to 200 AD, the most popular name amongst Palestinian women was Mary. That's why you have all the Marys in the Gospels. Marys were everywhere. There were thousands of them. The sixth most popular name amongst Palestinian Jewish men from 320 BC to 200 AD was Jesus or Yahashua. Right. The fifth was John. So there were thousands of Marys running around Palestine with sons named Jesus. That's okay, so they were the okay, okay, so now that makes so when that so, makes so, hang, on, when, so hang on, so hang on when There's the Quran, thousands of Jesus now. When when the when the Quran so how you know you got the right Jesus? Okay, okay, that's what we're gonna <laughs> talk about. That's why I'm telling you. Okay. So I need to know from the Quran where Jesus was born whose lineage he was from. All of this has to be explained from the Quran because these are two different people. The Jesus of Nazareth, he died by crucifixion and rose again and is divine. Isa ibn Maryam, that's said not to have happened to him. So they can't be the same person. Jesus of Nazareth, who the prophets prophesied about, right? And who the apostles confirmed and walked with for three and a half years and proclaimed his message. and whom the church follows and worships, and who the historians, both Jewish and Greco-Roman, all wrote about, is the true Jesus, is the true Messiah. This fictional character, Isa ibn Maryam, just, you know, he's nowhere on the radar screen. The other problem is, is, is I don't know if you guys already know this, but there's an excellent book by, uh, Richard Bauckham called uh, Jesus and the Eyewitnesses. And he gives a breakdown. He also uh, gives a breakdown in his uh, Greco-Roman, uh, what's the name of that book? He gives a breakdown of the most popular names in Palestine uh, from uh, 300 BC to 200 AD. And the most popular name amongst females was Mary. So, three centuries before Jesus is born, during the time of Jesus in the first century, and two centuries after his time, Mary was the most popular, Miriam, that's how you say it in Hebrew, most popular name amongst women. 
Jesus was the sixth most popular name. So, in every neighborhood in Palestine, on every other block, every fifth street, there was a Mary with a son named Jesus. That's how common those names were. So you could go to the mall on Saturday and run into 500 Marys with sons named Jesus, right? That's how common it was. So when the Quran calls Jesus, uh, Isa, Jesus, the son of Mary, it's like, well, which one are you talking about? There were thousands of them. The Quran has nothing to identify Isa as the true Messiah especially according to that which was predicted by the prophets.